Yes, we are going to look at the most overrated MotoGP rider in the current grid. Now before we get started, this is not my opinion. I asked questions on our Instagram and since we've done the most underrated rider, it only seemed right to do the most overrated rider. And let's just say your opinions on Instagram, they make it a bit controversial. So let's get into the video, put them on screen here. And we'll start from the top. So, first one we can see, Vignal has achieved so little compared to what he actually could. It's criminal. He's so inconsistent as well. Peku. Maverick. Polis Spagro. He hasn't done anything in MotoGP since 2014. Find any significance. A fair point. Alex Marquez. The Marquez brothers. I mean, if you're saying Mark Marquez is overrated... Just leave that. Uh, Raul Fernandez, Paco equals New Dove, Marini, no one, Mir, Mir, Juan Mir. I see Juan Mir's name a lot. I checked it before we actually went through the list, and I can see why people think Juan Mir is overrated. You know, he's a two time world champion. He has won one MotoGP race and has won the MotoGP World Championship. Someone said he's led three laps since 2020. Um, or since the 2020 season, so from last year and this year. I get why people would say he's overrated, and I also see why people are saying it now, because he's had five DNFs in his last eight races, and it hasn't been the best season for Juan, but I think when he gets the confidence, which he doesn't have, I think Juan is certainly one of the most naturally gifted riders we've ever seen. Well, in recent times, I think that... Yeah, I don't think he's overrated, but I understand people's opinion for saying it. So as we see, Brad Binder, Jack Miller. Jack Miller is another one that's popped up in this a lot. I, again, I get why people say who they say. You know, Jack Miller, he hasn't delivered what I expected of Ducati in terms of you know more race wins. But I think Jack has went under the radar in terms of how well of a team player he actually is. I think he's the perfect number two for Paco. I think that Ducati in the direction they're going to go in next year, you know, they're going to either go Jorge Martin or Enea Bastianini. Will they be team players? I don't think so because they want to win. I know Jack wants to win, but he's shown that he can be a team player. I just don't think you're going to get the same from Bastianini or Martin. So I get why people are saying Jack's overrated. But there is a lot more quality of what he offers to the team than people really give him credit for. So, I get the opinion. Bagnaia seems to come up a lot in this. Um, I seem to think it must be from Peko earlier in the year. You know, he's winning races, but he does crash out of a lot of good positions. We've seen that last year. Crashing under the lead. We've seen it even in 2020. He was going to win his first race at Mazzano and he crashed under the lead then. I get why people say it. Taka Nakagami. Yeah, well, but Nakagami. Uh, I, I do think Nakagami. Controversially, I don't think he should really be in MotoGP now. I think he's had uh, too many seasons and not enough have been delivered on you know, that. You know, we look at Aragon 2020. He should have won that race. He had so much great pace throughout the whole weekend. Put it on pole position. We got to turn four. He crashed. And he's never really recovered from that. But I think Nakagami would be a great rider. In superbikes, I think Honda could really utilise his talents elsewhere. And we see Polis Bargaro, Mir, Vinales, Zarco. 100% hands down. Yeah, Johan Zarco, I don't think he's overrated. I think he is a, a solid rider. He's a two-time Moto2 World Champion. He's came so close to so many times in MotoGP to taking race wins, but he crashes out of positions or something just happens that goes against him. Yeah, I, I find this video very hard, if you kind of guess. I don't like calling people overrated that are so much more supremely talented than I will ever be at anything. They're in the top tier of MotoGP, but... People have opinions and you guys are very, uh, how can I say, you don't 
mess around, you get straight to the point, which I like. And it gives us a good sense of what people think. So, Luca Marini, Jack, Jack Miller. Jorge Martin. Um, no, I don't think Jorge Martin's overrated. But, again, it just depends on form. That That is really how you can class someone's overrated or not. What's their form like? Are they consistently good? Or do they dip off and then, say for five races, have a terrible run of luck? And then they score a podium. And that's inconsistency. And I suppose that does fall into the overrated category. Lorenzo. Jorge Lorenzo. Doesn't race anymore. Retired. Five-time world champion. Not overrated. Sorry. <coughs> Alex Marquez. Joan Mir. Cal Crutchlow. I think it's very hard. Um, I don't think Cal Crutchlow is overrated. I'm not just saying that because I'm from the UK. No. I think Cal Crutchlow was actually underrated for what he was able to do in terms of bike development. Honda really miss him. And... Yeah, you look back, Crutchlow, 2019, 18, 17, 16, he got wins on a Honda and podiums and was ultimately like the second Honda most of the time to Mark Marquez. Of course, things change and Carl's moved on to Yamaha, but I think Carl's a solid rider. Paco and Morbidelli. Morbidelli, we'll, we'll see again down here. Yeah, Morbidelli. Um, a strange one with Franco. I think his form has dropped off so much. Uh, compared to where it was in 2020. When you look at 2020, he was fighting for the title and could have won it. But injury didn't help last year and a difficult Yamaha to ride hasn't helped <laughs> at all. Brad Bender, I don't think Brad Bender was overrated. Brad Bender was actually our most underrated rider in our last video, if you want to check that out. Ralph Fernandez. It's difficult to say. The KTM is difficult to ride this year. And where Ralph Fernandez was in 2021, I mean, he was sensational in Moto2. Just don't think it's the right bike for him. I don't think he's overrated. Everyone that's in MotoGP, like I say, is of the best caliber of motorbike rider. And they deserve to be there. But, like I say, fans have opinions. I don't know who I'm going to say is the most overrated rider. I think it's quite harsh. Uh, yeah. This is more for you guys to tell us and us to react to who you think is the most overrated rider. So that's it. Let me know in the next video you'd like to see from ourselves. We'd like to do more interaction with you on Instagram. If you haven't followed us on there, make sure to head over. We're near 50k followers. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for, for more MotoGP content. And I will see you in the next video.